afternoon. Well, the idea today was to uh, stop putting in the bus bars and uh, redoing some of the electrics on the uh, the batteries on the back, but it's uh, changed the the weather's changed a wee bit to a uh, a false ten later on in the day, so I don't really want to be throwing the back of the van open to the elements like that. So I'm going to do something different, which is uh, it's a common fault with the lights on the Maxus that some work and some don't, and some come on and some won't. So I'm going to take out the binnacle today and change them over, swap them over with some uh, green LEDs. So we're going to see if we can do this today instead of uh, doing the bus bar. So the reason I was going to put the bus bars in was because after reading stuff online it says that you shouldn't really just put everything to the battery. It should go through, you should have more, one connection to the battery really and then everything else should just go through the bus bar and then off to the fuse box or the uh, other electrics you're using sort of thing rather than just dominating it all off the battery which is not a good thing so I was going to do all of that but instead uh, we're going to play with the the lights today we're going to play with the dashboard lights and see what we can come up with see if we can fix these and also it will probably help get, gain access to these heater controls because this is another common problem as well in that you know this one doesn't work it will it will literally just stick on the windscreen and nowhere else so we need to be able to fix that as well and by removing this binnacle which is basically a couple of torques i think either side here there's obviously fixings behind this part here i'm assuming this is going to lift off we'll find that out soon and then from that we should be able to gain access above and then looking down and see if there's anything that's come off or we can reconnect or something that we need to order but that's the plan for today anyway to do these lights get these lights fixed up so the first thing I discovered was it's an allen key rather than a Torx so that was a bit of a surprise so I don't know if these have been uh, taken out before maybe and refixed with just these little allen bolts but uh, I was ex expecting for uh, them to be torque screws but we'll, we'll we'll carry on right so having taken out these two uh, allen bolts it looks like they've been changed over to be honest uh, you then have to put a pry bar underneath to lift up this unit and also from the top there's some little clips at the top here where they split the uh, either corner fits into which then gives you access to all the electrics behind here now we're not going to interfere with anything behind here other than uh, we're going to get access to the the tops of the the heater controls and things like that just want to indicate go around the corner at the minute yeah Oh, turn my hazards on. So essentially, yeah, they just they just hook into the top of the binnacle there, and they get on the other side, and it's literally just these uh, two fixings either side, one that side, one that side, and we're free. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. So now we're going to take out these. They look like they just look like Phillips to be honest. I don't know there's a there is a there's a Torx at the top there. And they look Phillips at the bottom. There seems to be a mix and a match here, so I'm guessing that maybe at some point in time this has been out already. So just to give better access, there are three electrical connections on the back of the uh, unit so it's easier just to disconnect those as well the other thing as well as what i found is this tiny little piece of black plastic here that i'm pointing at is the cause of this cable which is why this doesn't work 
um, and it's failing all the time. That little black plastic in the centre of the frame now, attached to the white one where the cable goes through, that fails, that pops off and allows that cable to buckle and allow that switch to fail. So I've put it back in place. I'm going to put some uh, grease, some copper grease or something on it. Uh, just on the cable, obviously not on the part because that will just make it slip everywhere. But essentially that is all that makes that hold in place and it's a really, really crappy fucking idea. Okay, so returning to the job in hand, uh, there are two screws hidden up underneath the uh, binnacle. That's the top of them. Uh, where are we? There. One there and one that side. And you access it from underneath the binnacle. And that should give us access to this whole unit now. This whole unit should move forward hopefully if you can hear panting in the background by the way it's not me that's who's responsible yeah she's not good with wind and it's a windy day and I don't want to leave her on the house and on her own so anyway baby eh? Hey? we go for a run in a wee while won't we yeah she's not she's idea there so we're going to take this uh, section out which should give us access to the bulbs hopefully so finally i missed a couple of screws as well which are actually in the top left and right of the binnacle section the light section and they are located uh, there's one there and there's one on that side the opposite side there okay and you can get them in either corner they're actually recessed into these little pod bits at the side and that's where those screws are. That then gives you access to the whole back of the lights. There appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six lights. I don't know what that one there is. Could be fuses or something. I don't know. I'll have to look at that one in a sec. Uh, and I've taken one out. And uh, yeah, they just uh, they just pop straight back out again, I think, these ones. And I'm going to replace them with these ones. I'm hoping they're going to be light for light. Just push and go, I'm hoping. So that's some side by side. That's the old uh, bulb that was in there. And that's the new LED that's going in. And they literally just, they just push in. I'm hoping because they're the same sort of size and that they have the same sort of clearance. And they should just slot in and work. But I'm going to test uh, everything before it actually goes all back together again, obviously. But that's what they look like side by side. So one bulb and one LED. Okay, so I've swapped them over. And what I discovered was that these, along with the unit in the back of this, the holders, they actually only fit in one way around. Um, otherwise it looks like they don't work when in actual fact they do so when you're putting them in and they lock and it doesn't work it doesn't mean to say it's faulty it looks like there is only one way that it actually goes in although we'll lock in place two ways there is only one way for this to go in and work so that would appear to be another problem as well so when this has been previously done or uh, they changed the lighting over or something. I'm guessing that they put some of these, at least two of these in, the wrong way around. So, let's have a wee look. We're going to turn the lights on and see what it looks like. So I've chosen green. They were originally, um, I'm guessing these were just clear. Although they look a blue. So they should be green. There we go. To be honest, the clock is not great, is it? And everything else looks okay. Chuff for that. I don't know why that's only lighting up. I might just change the bulb on that one in case it's in case it's not round the right way or only half it's working or something. But everything else is superb. Considering it was just you know a blank screen before at night time, occasionally the fuel would come on or occasionally the rev counter would come on. 
Anybody that owns one of these Maxis knows exactly what happens. They, they jump from one gauge to the other. And this is now going to be proper and legal now, so that's a good thing. So having tried out a couple of bulbs, that is actually the best that can happen with that. I don't know why, there must be something else blocking it further down. Uh, but I can live with that. They're the main ones that I need to be uh, keeping my eye on. As you can see, the uh, the storm's just about to hit, so I think we've timed this to perfection, haven't we, mate? Hey. Eh? So we're going to put all this back together. To be honest, this hasn't taken very long. I mean, it's you know a few screws I didn't know existed and things like that slowed the processes down. But other than that, you know, it's probably in reality, knowing what I know now, it's a 15, 20 minute job. It really is. So we're going to put all this back together again. We now have a control that actually moves and works. I'm just going to grease that up anyway, because uh, I want to make sure that that works in the future as well, going forward. So two jobs, all done. Very, very industrious today. Very industrious. Obviously, we're going to give this a bit of a clean up too, because it's a bit manky behind here, isn't it? Yeah, don't want all that rubbish blowing in our faces. Uh, yes, somebody asked what this was. It's actually a 10 uh, watt uh, charger. So it just charges the battery via the cigarette lighter. Uh, when it's sunny, obviously not on a day like today, eh? But that's what it does. It just uh, sits there and just uh, trickle charges the battery when the van's not in use, which is more often than not. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to put everything back together again. So you've seen how it all comes apart. It is really, really easy. It is literally just a couple of screws here, there, putting the binnacle back on top putting the heater controls everything back together here plugging this back in only three of them you can't go wrong they're all different screw it back together again jobs are good so there we go and we have working lights look at that all right so ldv maxus new lights new heater controls all working yes yeah.